This is Twit. There's a so-called root pipe is the name that's been given to this, a privilege escalation bug, which was responsibly import, uh, reported um, in early October of last year to Apple um, uh, by a security researcher, Emil uh, Kvarnhamar. Um, I think I got that name about right. Uh, and he named it Root Pipe. He discovered the problem because he was going to be going to a security conference and basically he needed something to talk about. So he just thought, okay, I'll just I'll just <laughs> poke at OS 10 for a while. And he did some binary code analysis and ended up finding this. <laughs> and and just because he sort of wanted to. I mean, he didn't he did he didn't stumble on it. He said, I'm gonna I need to find something to talk about. So <laughs> he plowed in and found this thing, uh, told Apple about it. Apple said Thank you very much. Now, they're all very, you know, low-key. They, they, they don't tend to disclose the way, for example, Microsoft does. Apple just says, oh, yes, we fixed a few things and, you know, don't worry about it. So he tweeted on October 6th, a few days after talking to Apple. He said, details on the root pipe exploit will be presented, but not now. Let's just give... Let's just give Apple some time to roll out a patch to affected users. So he did the responsible thing. So it got patched um, with this most recent update that we had a few days ago. But somewhat controversially, Apple has said they're not going to patch earlier versions of Mac OS X. Um, they said that it was required a lot of changing around of things and that it's just not worth their time. So this has angered some people who, for whatever reason, aren't staying current with the latest version and are on earlier ones. I have seen some, some documentation of, of an alternative, and I was first thinking that I would provide links and some coverage, but it is a mess. I mean, it's like not the sort of thing you want to go off and do yourself. So the problem is the classic... Or, or the well, the, the the problem is that there is a that, that what Emil found was a way for software you run. Now this is not some guy in Romania is able to take over your machine remotely. This is a local privilege escalation bug, meaning that that you that it needs to be software running in Mac OS X, which if it's aware of this, that is to say, today that means if you have an older version of, of Mac OS X, it's able to give itself admin privileges if the account has them. So this is the classic do not run with admin privileges. Yep. Of course, for convenience sake, most people do. So what Emil's own explanation in his disclosure said, do not run the system under an admin privileged account. Create a second admin account, maybe named admin, log in as the admin user, and then remove administrator privileges from the normal account that you normally use, then log out and go back into your normal account. If you are a normal user, then there's nowhere for this to escalate itself to. It can only escalate to the maximum privileges you have. And if you've neutered those because you're not running as an admin, then there's nothing for it to do. Again, this is fixed in 10.10, .10, but not in earlier versions. So, uh, uh, and... Uh, I'm sure anybody who needs to, who's a, a heavy Mac OS X user, can can find additional detailed instructions on removing admin privileges if they're deliberately using an older version of of uh, OS X and um, and choose to keep using it rather than staying current. Now, Steve, is this a good idea anyway, just as a matter of course, to not yeah. run under the admin because this kind of thing. You know, if you're under an admin account, of course, you you are you're essentially open to do admin privileged things. 
uh, not just you, but malware or whatever. So you would you you've already uh, you've been recommending that people do this. Yes, for it's a while standard already. practice, and it's worth noting malware had been found that was that knew about this. So this is a perfect example of just because a security researcher has found it and responsibly disclosed it doesn't mean that it wasn't found, you know, by bad guys or maybe gray hat guys. I mean, you know, we presume that the NSA has all kinds of ways of getting into our systems if they want to because of they're using things that haven't yet been discovered by anybody else and responsibly disclosed so that the manufacturer can can um, can resolve them. And in fact, we've heard that Microsoft tells the NSA about things they haven't patched yet, which is a little disturbing. I'm not mm. too sure why that happens, but uh, but but yes, you know, standard operating procedure is is that I mean, and it's 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 uncomfortable because it will get in your way, but it's the only way to be safe, and that is remove admin privileges from the account you normally use. You normally only need them when you're installing software. And so if, I mean, if your life is like being a member of the press in, you know, installing software all the time, then okay, you don't have any choice. Or actually there, you'd really want to set up a VM and just use rollback, you know, do, do a, do a, uh, uh, s set up a, a static image with a virtual machine and install stuff all the time in there and then just, r you know, erase it when you're done rather than, you know, uninstalling things that you've installed. It's just, you know, not safe to do. But so, so my point is I, I can see situations where somebody just by virtue of the, the mode they're in has to be installing stuff all the time. It, it may be less practical to use, you know, to, to need admin privileges there. Although you can oftentimes just run and run as administrator during the setup and provide the administration password at that time in order to to give the, you know, that installation process admin privileges. So it can also be made feasible. But yeah, you, and this is another example of where you don't want to be an admin because it was possible for installation software behind your back um, to get those privileges and get up to some mischief with them.